Hi, my name is uh, Olav Hermansen and uh, last year I entered an idea competition uh, for the iTribe and if you don't know what uh, the iTribe is, it's a company that produces eye trackers and an eye tracker basically is uh, a camera mount that uses um, IR lightning to figure out where your eyes are looking at the screen and get online coordinates and the eye competition were to like get some ideas about what you can build with an eye tracker and uh, submit your your greatest ideas and while I started playing around with uh, what these eye trackers could be used for I started thinking about what I've seen in movies like these movie references like enhance that and uh, can you zoom in on the, that image and to just give you a short idea of what I'm thinking of there's a YouTube cl uh, clip called let's enhance uh, this is the high definition uh, video so I'm just gonna play this a um, couple of seconds there's a reflection zoom in on the mirror you can see a reflection can you enhance the image from here? Can you enhance him right here? Can you enhance it? Can you enhance it? Can we enhance this? Can you enhance it? Hold on a second, I'll enhance. Zoom in on the door. Times ten. Zoom. Move in. More. Wait, stop. Stop. Pause it. Rotate a 75 degrees around the vertical, please. Stop. Go back to the part about the door again. Okay, so you get a basic idea of what I'm talking about here. You always see them in movies like zoom in, rotate. Um, what is that? Um, is that a reflection? Zoom in on the reflection. So I started thinking, how can this? Um, can we use an eye tracker to like take this control ourselves and remove the middleman, as you say? And so I came up with this idea that by combining eye tracking and speech recognition, you can rule the world. Well, you might not just rule the world, but at least you can navigate at Google Earth. I thought so. I started working out this project um, where you can control Google Earth with speech recognition and eye tracking. Uh, and just before I start, I will need to calibrate the eye tracker because I haven't done that yet. Um, so it's a nine. I'm going to use a nine-step process, and you can just have a quick look at how this is done. Uh, first, it starts off with. Uh, nine series of dots on the screen to get an estimate of where you're looking and a reference point. And we should be done. Okay, so this is a modest result, but I can work with it. As you see, when I look at the different parts of the screen, they uh, turn red and uh, it's pretty okay even with the glasses on and um, it's pretty awesome now when I go back to the project I'm gonna start it up and it loads Google Earth um, I'm using the web plugin actually and I'm combining it with C sharp uh, I found it better than using the uh, DLLs for Google Earth, which by the way is deprecated, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and so I'm going to start the speech recognition and I'm going to show off some commands that uh, you can do. Start eye tracking. And the eye tracker starts. And zoom in. Zoom in one time repeated my last command. So you can see up in the right corner what kind of commands that are sent based on my voice recognition. So um, zoom in five times. Zoom in five times. Zoom in five times. Uh, what country is this? And I get a blink feed uh, indication of where I'm looking each time I'm performing a command and it's very helpful so uh, there it even thought I was saying zoom in zoom out 10 times zoom out 10 times 
What country is this? What city is this? Alright, I uh, have some problems with language there it seems. Zoom out five times. Uh, focus. What country is this? Zoom in ten times. Focus. Zoom in ten times. What city is this? And you get an idea of how you can control Google Earth now. And note that I'm not using any hands or anything like that. I'm only using my eyes and uh, voice recognition. Uh, so zoom in ten times. I'm having a bad day on this voice, it seems. <laughs> Zoom in ten times. Zoom in ten times. Zoom in three times. What city is this? What country is this? Focus. Zoom in ten times. focus. So the focus is a way to center the screen on where you're looking if you want to like move in a direction. I haven't implemented in mo moving left up or downwards. Uh, zoom out 10 times. Zoom out 10 times. And I'm also finding that speech recognition has a problem <laughs> when I uh, talk now to you guys on, uh, on the web. Zoom out 10 times. Zoom out 10 times. Zoom out 10 times. Zoom out 10 times. Okay, so focus. Focus, focus. What country is this? What city is this? Okay, so each time I get no results, it's because I'm using the Geo code library from Google uh, that uses the coordinates to uh, get city name, the country, or even county uh, in some places. So, if, for instance, if I go back to Norway, zoom in 10 times. Zoom in 10 times. Zoom in 10 times. What county is this? And that's pretty much correct. And so this is the preview of the eye tracking. So stop eye tracking. And the eye tracker shuts off. And uh, this is the demo I've working out, so I would appreciate any comments of further development of, uh, of what that could be used to, and uh, better disable the speech recognition. And if you have any ideas to how I can further develop this uh, prototype, it's gladly appreciated. Um, so see you next time.